So if you're ever working with a large number of files, Photoshop has a very powerful tool called the Actions Palette. Uh, and to see it, what you do is you go up here to Window and Actions. Um, and over here, basically, what this is, is it's a selection of systems that Photoshop can run through. And you can record your own. Uh, it can range from anything as simple as opening a file and adding a line of text to complex activities that involve hundreds of little separations and adjustments. Um, so to create your own, uh, go ahead down here and click on the Create a New Action button. Uh, it gives you an option to name it and click the Record button when you're ready. Now this red light is on and you see your new action in a list here and anything that I do is going to be recorded. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to create a simple watermark sort of thing to put on photographs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click this button here, switch foreground background colors, so that black is my foreground color. I'm going to then take the text tool and I'm going to write a simple line of text down here, just for uh, demonstration's sake. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the foreground and background colors once again. I'm going to click the rectangle tool and I'm going to drag a white rectangle around X to this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that layer, layer and I'm going to change the opacity to 50% and I'm going to go with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm done with my recording, so I'm going to click the stop button. And now you'll notice it has, it took everything that I did, making the text layer, moving the layer, everything, and put it into this action one. So what I can do is I can, I'm going to go ahead here for the sake of experimentation, and I'm going to delete the shape one and the text layers that I just created. Now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to select the photo layer, I'm going to click on the action one, and I'm going to click play. And you'll notice it did it all over again for me, just like that. Instantaneously, I've got my new text layer, I've got my new shape layer, changed the opacity for me, repositioned it, everything.